सो हेलो गाइस दिस वीडियो वुड बी रिगार्डिंग द पिरामिड इन मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड लाइक वी डिड फॉर द प्यूरीन मेटाबॉलिज्म इन दैट वीडियो आई टॉक्ड अबाउट द डी नोवो सिंथेसिस ऑफ प्यूरीन एंड द सैल्वेज पाथवे द टॉपिक फॉर दिस वीडियो वुड बी आई इन दिस वीडियो आई बी जनरली टॉकिंग अबाउट मोर स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट द डी नोवो सिंथेसिस ऑफ पिरामिडिन एंड दिस पाथवे इज वेरी मच सिमिलर टू द यूरिया साइकिल मेनी एंजाइम्स होल्ड सिमिलैरिटी द ऑर्गनली इन्वॉल्व इन पिरामिडिन बायोसिंथेसिस Uh, majority of the enzymes these are cytosolic enzymes but there is only one enzyme which is present in the mitochondria and that particular enzyme that is dihydroorotate dehydrogenase and i'll be talking about it in the upcoming um, a few minutes so uh, now this enzyme which is dihydroorotate dehydrogenase the reaction catalyzed by this enzyme would only be present in mitochondria rest it would be cytoplasmic now just like we did for the purine uh, synthesis purine metabolism there i discussed that which all atoms are derived from uh, which all substrates the uh, uh, atoms in the purine ring similarly i'm talking here uh, about the atoms which are derived from their uh, different substrates and uh, how to name a pyramidal ring so you move in a clockwise direction for the purine ring how to name a purine ring you were for the first cycle in the purine ring you were going in an anti clockwise direction and for the subsequent uh, cycle for the next cycle of the purine you were going in a clockwise direction so just to uh, recapitulate that so in the purine synthesis first ring of the purine to name that first ring you start on the nit first nitrogen is present on the left hand side and then you move in an anti clockwise direction for the first ring and for the second ring you are going in a clockwise direction but to name a pyramidal ring on the other hand we are going to start with the nitrogen from the bottom position and then you are moving in a clockwise manner so as a result so this is first nitrogen second third fourth fifth and sixth so the first nitrogen the fourth carbon fifth and sixth carbon they are derived from the aspartic acid okay uh and in the purine ring we saw that the major uh, amino acid that was the glycine and uh, there in purine ring the fourth carbon the fifth carbon and seventh nitrogen were derived from glycine but here the first nitrogen the uh, fourth fifth and sixth carbon these are derived from the aspartic acid and uh, there in the purine ring we said that the third and the ninth nitrogen they were derived from the amide nitrogen of glutamine likewise here Uh, only third nitrogen is present so it is also derived from the amide nitrogen of glutamine but in the purine ring the sixth carbon that was derived from the respiratory co2 in the pyrimidine ring the second carbon that is derived from the respiratory co2 so these are the similarities also which will make it easier to learn learn also okay so now sources of pyrimidine i am repeating it third nitrogen is derived from the amide nitrogen of glutamine second carbon from respiratory co2 and carbon number 4th 5th 6th and the first nitrogen from the aspartic acid now the enzymes of the pyrimidine synthesis before going on to the actual steps let us talk about the enzymes of pyrimidine synthesis so they are ca catalyzed by multifunctional enzymes so what is a multifunctional enzyme there is a single polypeptide chain which is having multiple enzyme activities so this is meant by multifunctional enzyme so it is catalyzed by multifunctional enzyme So, firstly, we'll be talking about the CPS two. What is CPS two? It is carbamyl synthase phosphate. Uh, carbamyl phosphate synthase two. So, where do we find carbamyl phosphate synthase one? Then, carbamyl phosphate synthase one is a mitochondrial enzyme which is involved with the urea cycle. Okay, but here in the pyrimidine synthesis, it is carbamyl phosphate synthase two, which is present in cytoplasm. So, this is the similarity between the urea cycle. okay with the urea cycle then another one is aspartate transcarbamylase in the urea cycle the corresponding enzyme is ornithine transcarbamylase so here it is aspartate transcarbamylase so cps2 tra aspartate transcarbamylase dihydroorotase these form uh, these uh, are enzymes which are present in the cytoplasm catalyze the first few steps then i talked about that only there is one reaction which is catalyzed by enzyme which is present in the mitochondria rest every, all the reactions they are occurring in the cytosol so which is the enzyme dihydroorotate dehydrogenase in the is the enzyme for the reaction then thirdly we are having orotate 
फॉस्फोराइबोसाइल ट्रांसफरेज एंड ओ एम पी डी कार्बोक्सिलेस सो ओरोटेट फॉस्फोराइल राइबोसाइल ट्रांसफरेज एंड ओ एम पी डी कार्बोक्सिलेस टूगेदर एज अ ग्रुप दे आर कॉल्ड एज यू एम पी सिंथेज वाई बिकॉज द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट इज यू एम पी यूरिडिन मोनोफॉस्फेट ओके विच इज प्रेजेंट इन दी साइटोप्लाज्म सो ओनली माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल स्टेप इज कैटलाइज बाय डाई हाइड्रो ओरोटेट डी हाइड्रोजिनेस so now we come on to certain important points of pyrimidine synthesis so at the end of synthesis by this pathway uh, nitrogen bases are formed unlike the purine synthesis so purine synthesis mein what we saw we saw that the uh, first nucleotide formed uh, there the end product was nucleotide first nucleotide formed was imp and then subsequently amp and gmp were formed but in the case of pyrimidine synthesis the end products are nitrogenous bases and then nitrogenous bases are again converted to nucleotide now why is that in pyrimidine synthesis the end products are nitrogenous bases while in purine synthesis end products were uh, nucleotide because in purine synthesis the initial uh, uh, sub, uh, substrate used that was uh, ribose 5 phosphate if you can remember it was acted upon by prpp synthase and then it converted into prpp but here the uh, starting Uh, substrate that is not ribose so it is not pentose sugar so at, as a result nucleotide cannot be formed at the end okay so this is what i have written at the end of synthesis by this pathway nitrogenous bases are formed unlike the purine synthesis when nucleotides were formed instead now on the pyrimidine base ribose and phosphate they are added by which enzyme orotate phosphoribosyl transferase and this was a uh, component of the ump synthase okay and as a result omp is formed now omp is further decarboxylated to form ump so omp is then decarboxylated to form ump and this ump can be converted into ct uh, in ctp and then also we can convert it into tmp so synthesis of cited and nucleotide so then utp so ump is converted to utp by addition of two phosphate groups so it forms utp then utp is converted to ctp by the enzyme utp synthase so what is the difference now in utp and ctp so we know that uh, deamination of cytosine gives rise to uracil right so means an additional amino group is present in the cytosine this additional uh, amino group that is provided by the glutamine so humne ye bhi dekha tha purine synthesis mein ki imp uh, finally gives rise to Uh, AMP and the amino group uh, donor that is the aspartic acid and the uh, amino group donor for the glutamic uh, for the GMP that is glutamic acid. Likewise, for the conversion of UTP to CTP, the amino group donor is glutamine. ठीक है तो AMP को बनाने के लिए IMP से aspartic acid amino group donor था जबकि GMP को बनाने के लिए glutamic acid था और CTP को बनाने के लिए glutamine is the Glutamine is the amino group donor. So now synthesis of thymine. So this was the synthesis of cytidine uh, triphosphate. Now the synthesis of thymine nucleotides. So यहाँ पर क्या हुआ था UTP directly convert हुआ था CTP में. लेकिन thymine के लिए ऐसा नहीं होता. So first UDP बनता है. UDP फिर किस में convert होता है? Deoxy UDP में. और enzyme कौन सा है? Ribonucleotide reductase. फिर deoxy UDP is converted to deoxy UMP by the removal of a phosphide uh, phosphate group. and then there's an enzyme this is an important enzyme thymidylate synthase which converts the deoxy ump to tmp so now the conversion of deoxy ump to tmp is by the enzyme thymidylate synthase which is an important enzyme why because uh, certain drugs which are uh, which block this enzyme that they are going to block the formation of tmp तो इसलिए डीएनए सिंथेसिस सिंथेसिस इंपैक्ट होगी और एज अ रिजल्ट हम कैंसर एंटी कैंसर ड्रग की फॉर्म में वी कैन यूज इट सो वी विल सी द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ सच ड्रग आल्सो नो अनदर पॉइंट इन दिस रिएक्शन इज दैट द मिथाइल डोनर इज टीएचएफए व्हिच इज टेट्राहाइड्रोफोलिक एसिड बट वी नो दैट जनरली इन आवर बॉडी द सैम इज द a methyl donor which is s adenosyl methionine is the general methyl donor but is step mein methyl donor kaun sa hai thfa is the methyl donor so methyl donor is n5 n10 methylene thfa is the methyl donor theek hai to this is important again because if thfa is not present uh, so you might have heard of the drug methotrexate methotrexate kya karta hai 
इसकी फॉर्मेशन नहीं होने देता एज अ रिजल्ट दिस स्टेप इज इम्पैक्टेड अगेन मीथोट्रिक्सिड कैन बी यूज इज इन एंटी कैंसर ड्रग ऑल्सो सो नाउ वंस वी हैव सीन द बेसिक इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट नाउ लेट एस गो ऑन टू द स्टेप्स ऑफ द पिरामिड इन डी नोवो बायोसिंथिस सो फर्स्टली सीओ टू आया ग्लूटमीन इज द नाइट्रोजन डोनर एंड ए टी पी दे ऑल आर गोइंग टू बी कैटलाइज बाय द एंजाइम सी पी एस टू विच इज कार्बोमाइल फॉस्फेट सिंथेस टू प्रेजेंट इन द साइटोप्लाज्म एंड एज अ रिजल्ट कार्बोमाइल फॉस्फेट इज फॉर्म दिस कार्बोमाइल फॉस्फेट विल देन कंबाइन विद स्पार्टिक एसिड बाय द एंजाइम स्पार्टेड ट्रांस कार्बोमाइलिस अगेन अ साइटोप्लाज्मिक एंजाइम इन टू कार्बोमाइल फॉस्फेटिक एसिड एंड देन फाइनली इट वुड बी कन्वर्टेड टू डाई हाइड्रोओरोटिक एसिड ठीक है जो भी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट आएगा आई एल बी टेलिंग यू सो हमने देखा था जब हमने एंजाइम्स ऑफ पिरामिड इन सिंथेसिस देखे थे तो वी क्लब दीज थ्री एंजाइम्स इन वन ओके इन वन पॉइंट सो अनादर स्टेप इज दिस डाई हाइड्रो ओरोटिक एसिड इज देन कन्वर्टेड इन टू ओरोटिक एसिड एंड द एंजाइम इन वर्ल्ड इज डाई हाइड्रो ओरोटेड डिहाइड्रोजनिस दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वाई बिकॉज दिस इज द ओनली माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल एंजाइम ओनली माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल स्टेप in the pyrimidin synthesis now orotic acid is formed this orotic acid then again would be converted to omp the enzyme involved orotate phosphoribosyl transferase and omp is then decarboxylated to form ump to by the enzyme orotidylic acid decarboxylase now these two enzymes together they were called as ump synthase also then further on kya hoga ump se kya banega utp banega or this utp would be converted into ctp by the enzyme ctp synthase or amino group donor kon hoga glutamine hoga ya fir ye ump udp mein convert ho jayega aur udp fir further convert hoga deoxy udp mein aur enzyme kon sa hoga ribonucleotide reductase fir udp kis mein convert hoga tmp mein aur jo enzyme hoga thymidylate synthase and in addition the methyl donor would be thfa so this is the overall these are the overall steps in the pyrimidine biosynthesis now we come on to the important clinical aspects so two anti cancer drugs which are going to inhibit the synthesis of tmp kaun se hai wo firstly methotrexate i have already told you this is going to inhibit the dihydrofolate reductase now this dihydrofolate reductase is going to catalyze the conversion of dihydrofolate to tetrahydrofolate aur yahi methylene n5 n10 uh, methylene tetrahydrofolate yahi kya tha मिथाइल डोनर था फॉर द कन्वर्जन ऑफ डीऑक्सी यूडीपी टू डीऑक्सी यूएमपी टू टीएमपी है ना यही था तो एज अ रिजल्ट टीएमपी नहीं बनेगा तो डीएनए सिंथेसिस वुड बी इम्पैक्टेड एन अदर वन इज फाइव फ्लोरो यूरेसिल विच इज अ कॉम्पिटेटिव इनहिबिटर ऑफ थाइमी डायलेट सिंथेस सो दिस वॉज द एंजाइम कैटलाइजिंग द सेम रिएक्शन एंड दिस वॉज द मिथाइल डोनर मिथाइल ग्रुप डोनर